I think there are some things that are out of your control and that's just life. Honestly happens a lot in gaming, a lot of it is out of your control. That's in terms of like teams, contracts, all that sort of stuff. I think predicting the future is hard man, like it's kinda, you can't really predict the future I guess. Like there can be certain signs towards things that are like just random stuff like a dog or like a cat or like a job or something like certain things can like line up to it and then you can kind of predict you can make like an educated guess or an educated prediction of what's gonna happen but like outright just being like this is gonna happen in one year nah nah I think when I'm like older yeah like I think I'll definitely be wiser for sure because like I've obviously learned from experiences and stuff and like even like moving out here and like doing all this stuff like it's made me grow as a person a lot so it's only gonna go up from there, sort of thing. Uh, the relationship I have with my parents is like really good, honestly. Very supportive. Um, when was the last time we we saw each other? It was when I was home, right before I left for Overwatch League. Yeah. How yeah, long ago was that? Cause I haven't came back since. It was like a year. You left June. Yes, a year already. Yeah, yeah. Since you left. A bit. June the fifth or sixth. Yeah, it's only been like a year and a bit since we last yeah. saw each other. So. My mom's always worried about me and like she's she's the type of mother who like worries about everything like it, when we have a conversation she's always like we never really have like a proper conversation she's always like are you taking this are you doing this like are you like are you taking medicine if you're sick like make sure you're doing this like wash your hands clean hands don't touch your nose <laughs> pretty much stay away from COVID is what I'm getting at and then <laughs> get away <laughs> For me personally, I care a lot for people who are very close to me, and I think I get that from her. She's just always there for them sort of thing, so I think I've definitely got that for her. My dad is like more into technology and stuff, and that's like how I got into gaming, because he played games. Well, how would you guys like describe like internet culture now compared to like when it first started? Well, massive, it jumps, it's gone. Do you guys even, do you even have internet back then? Like, were you even into, into the internet back then at all? Yeah, the old dial-up, yeah, remember that? We had right. dial-up. <laughs> <laughs> it used to take half an hour to load a picture. But do you have internet when you were, like, teenager and stuff like that? I don't even know. No, nah, nah. nah, there's nothing, man. Yeah, it's, in the culture now, everybody's on it. It's just taken off in a big way, and I think technology now is going so far ahead. Like, when... I think when your kids, Ash, when your kids grow up, it's going to be a totally different world. Oh yeah, probably. I think so too. It's probably going to be crazy. Yeah, like, all, the, all your cousins are into TikTok dancing and oh, going on. Yeah. Oh god. If I want one thing, I want them to invent teleporters, if anything. I've been saying that ever since I've been traveling. If I could tell my parents one thing before they had me, it tell my mum to force me to learn how to cook from her. Start me at a younger age, so I'd be a prodigy. So it was great seeing okay. you guys again, like... What do you, don't interrupt me, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As always, it was great seeing you guys again. Like, I miss you guys a lot. Hopefully, we can you can come visit me when they invent teleporters, you know. I'll need a walking stick by then. And a walking stick. <laughs> oh, yeah, love yeah. you. Stay safe. Yeah, love you too, love man. You too. All right, bye-bye. Talk to you later. See bye. ya. Bye. See you later. I definitely think, like, you should live out your young years because, you know, when you get old, you can't really do that stuff. I feel like everyone's afraid of death in a sense, but, like, in the end, it's kind of inevitable. So, like, I think it's kind of stupid to think about, like, death in the everyday sense because, like, it's going to stop you from, like, doing so much and it's just, like, just live your life, man. Like, there's a, you got a lot going on for you. There's also, like, more you can do in esports than just, like, being a professional gamer. I kind of find it hard to think about my life outside of gaming and stuff like that in esports. My ideal future for 35, I guess, would be money for sure. Very nice house. Probably still involved in esports because I, I can see, I don't really see myself doing something else right now, honestly. I really love esports and the growth of it and all that. So, like, probably something with like Hasho, like the role that he has now where he works with a lot of teams and players and stuff like that. Especially come being like from a player, like moving on to that, so like you can sort of relate to stuff. Have a girl by that time, girlfriend, wife, maybe 35. Depending how things are going, how busy, maybe a little, little baby. 
think like the amount of options for your future is like very much in your hands, honestly. Like I feel like it just depends on the person. Like if you're someone with many talents or many opportunities, you could have like a vast majority of futures where you can go down a few different paths. But like if you're very set on like one thing or like a few things, then it's gonna be a lot slimmer. But even then it's like unpredictable in a sense, like maybe you run into something doing one of those slim things and, and that becomes like a bigger door into many other opportunities, yeah. My walking cane, because I'm old. I'm slant shiver because I play games all the time, so my posture's I got some hair left. I'm happy.